welcome to a book's narrated audio narration of the book titled Diary of a CEO, The 33 Laws of Business and Life. Law 4 You do not get to choose what you believe. This law has 13 key points that highlight the significance of belief systems in shaping our perception of reality and influencing our behavior. While beliefs are not always chosen, we can evolve and adapt our beliefs through self-reflection open-mindedness, and a commitment to personal and professional growth. Understanding and aligning beliefs with goals is crucial for achieving success and fostering positive relationships with others who may hold different beliefs. In this law, Stephen puts the spotlight on key themes including beliefs and leadership, self-reflection, adaptability, alignment with goals, open-mindedness, beliefs and decision-making respect for others' beliefs, limiting beliefs, growth mindset, changing beliefs, beliefs define reality, belief systems are formed, and more, all focused at exploring the nature of belief systems and their impact on personal and professional growth. Before we dive in, as you're watching this video, we hope you enjoy our content, but over 70% of frequent viewers do not subscribe. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button below. Subscribing takes just a moment and helps our channel more than you can imagine. It makes a huge difference and as we get bigger, we're able to bring you even more of the content you love. We have so many exciting ideas planned. We truly appreciate each and every one of our viewers, especially subscribers. Let's get started. Law 4 you do not get to choose what you believe from Stephen Botlett's Diary of a CEO. The 33 Laws of Business and Life immerses readers in a profound exploration of the intricate world of beliefs. This law, poised to intrigue and captivate, not only divulges the secrets of altering one's own beliefs, but also unravels the enigma of reshaping the deeply entrenched convictions of others. The law commences with a thought experiment that immediately grasps your attention. It asks you to envisage someone of paramount importance in your life, be it your mother, father, partner, or even your cherished pet, held captive by a menacing terrorist. The terrorist issues a chilling ultimatum. If you don't believe that I am Jesus Christ right now, I will pull the trigger and kill them. In this gripping scenario, Bartlett skillfully illustrates a fundamental truth. Beliefs are not switches that can be flicked at will, even in life or death circumstances. The narrative brilliantly weaves this shocking scenario into a tapestry of human psychology, challenging conventional notions of free will and personal control over one's beliefs. To fortify this exploration, Bartlett employs a survey of 1,000 individuals revealing an intriguing discrepancy between their beliefs about belief. Astonishingly, a significant majority of respondents believe they possess the power to choose their beliefs. However, when confronted with the harrowing scenario of the terrorist demanding belief in his divinity, the vast majority admit that they can merely feign belief as a desperate survival strategy. With this stark revelation, Bartlett's inbox on a riveting journey into the intricate mechanisms of belief formation. He contends that beliefs function as cognitive shortcuts, enabling the brain to swiftly predict and decide based on patterns and prior experiences. Beliefs, as he argues persuasively, are instrumental in shaping our behavior and have evolutionary roots in safeguarding our species. From primitive beliefs warning about dangers like lions and fire to contemporary convictions, they all serve the ultimate purpose of survival. Botlet's narrative reaches its pinnacle when he explores the phenomenon of belief change. Through surveys and scientific studies, he suggests that modifying strongly held false beliefs is an arduous task. Yet, he introduces a fascinating caveat. Individuals exhibit a propensity to change their beliefs when presented with evidence that aligns with their desires and aspirations. This principle reverberates across diverse domains of life, from personal convictions to the political sphere. 
Bartlett showcases cases in which individuals promptly realigned their beliefs when presented with information that suited their preferences. This not only underscores the malleability of beliefs, but also highlights the profound influence of self-interest in belief transformation. Central to Law 4 is the notion that rather than confronting existing beliefs head-on, the most effective strategy for belief transformation is to furnish new evidence that dovetails seamlessly with current convictions and promises favorable outcomes. This approach, Bartlett asserts, is akin to navigating the brain's path of least resistance and augments the likelihood of successfully altering beliefs. Bartlett also accentuates the potency of introspection and in-depth analysis in attenuating resolutely held beliefs. He illuminates how asking individuals to articulate and dissect their beliefs often results in a reduction of their conviction, revealing an invaluable technique employed by cognitive behavioral therapists. The narrative culminates with a profound assertion. The growth zone materializes where new evidence exists. Bartlett underscores that even the most stubborn beliefs can metamorphose through the accumulation of counteracting evidence, provided the individual harbors a high degree of subjective confidence in this new information. In essence, Law 4, you do not get to choose what you believe crafts a captivating odyssey into the winding intricacies of belief. It dismantles preconceived notions regarding the nature of beliefs, inviting every reader to scrutinize their own convictions while emboldening them to navigate the terrain of belief transformation in others. This law emerges as an emblem of the concept that unchallenged limiting beliefs stand as the most formidable barriers to personal growth and self-transformation. With its riveting narrative and practical insights, Law 4 beckons readers into a world brimming with wisdom and guidance for self-improvement, interpersonal dynamics, and the nuanced landscape of beliefs and convictions. It promises an exhilarating journey through the pages of Diary of a CEO, compelling every reader to explore and embrace the transformative power of belief. This concludes our book's narrated audio narration of Diary of a CEO, The 33 Laws of Business and Life. Law 4. You do not get to choose what you believe. Our mission at Books Narrated is to empower you to make informed decisions about investing in the full book. So if you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more engaging content. If you're already subscribed, thank you. Your support is our motivation to bring you the most engaging and insightful narratives. Access the book directly by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks you for listening.